Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, patrons, I want to say thank you so much for all of your wonderful flower requests. Suzanne, this one's for you. I know that you love stargazer lilies as much as I do. So I hope you guys all enjoy this tutorial and let's begin. So I'm going to start the background with black and some pale green. Pale green I'm using is this one by Artessa. And actually, I hardly ever use craft paints, uh, but this one, oh, I love the name, Licorice. Um, this is by Folk Art. This is a runnier one, and I just find this one is really, really a good go-to for uh, painting backgrounds. So I'm going to go ahead and just shake that up. I'm going to apply some green right to the canvas. I'm going to take one of my big filbert brushes here, number 50. This is just for covering the background. You can use um, uh, any brush that you want. And I'm just going to pick up this green and just kind of dab around. See, the black is very, very strong, so you don't need a whole lot of it. And I've got quite a bit on here, so... I'm not going to blend that out. I'm going to come in with a little bit of yellow now, just to balance that out. And the yellow I'm going to be using is lemon, it's called Lemon Yellow by Arteza. So I'll add a little dab here and there. And just because I feel like it, I love doing this with a soft mop brush. This one's a one inch. I'm just going to pick that yellow up and I'm going to start swirling and twirling around with my brush. Uh, this is just part of the satisfying painting process for me that you can use any brush you want for um, blending the background. So stargazer lilies are special to me. They have a special place in my heart uh, after my second son, uh, Jake, was born, my husband with my first son who was only had just turned two at the time surprised me in the hospital with a beautiful huge bouquet big basket actually of these stargazer lilies and they smell so so good and it really was one of those things where you're not sure if the hospital's going to be okay with all that smell but apparently everybody was just delighted by it and and loved it so they just kind of invoke a feeling whenever i smell them and see them i have such wonderful memories and feelings from that time in my life and that special day i'm going to take another mop brush here and just soften this a little bit We're not out to, to paint leaves in the background in detail, right? We just want to add a blurry background. The focus is on the flower. Now, if you want more of a bokeh effect with a round little orb looking shapes, then you can just even just twist like this, or you can use a beauty blender. I have one somewhere. I mysteriously disappeared. I don't know where it went, but um, those are amazing to use. Okay, so I'm going to dry this all off and come in with a flower. And I've got a little bit of turquoise, bright aqua green. I'm going to make a really pretty, I guess they call it a Kelly green when you mix the yellow and the turquoise together. I've got a little bit of ultramarine blue here um, left over. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be needing that, but I might. So for some cooler shadows around, uh, I might add, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and add just a little bit more of that. And I think I mentioned I'm using, maybe I forgot, but I've got neon orange here as well by Holbein. Now, if you don't have these colors, um, you can ask me in the comment below or comment section below if you aren't sure, and I'll give you some alternatives for these colors. Basically, um, any pink, red, quinacridone, violet, or magenta will be fine. You can mix them with each other. 
and you can also add little bits of white here and there to make certain shades of pink so um, don't worry you can all follow along with whatever you have don't ever let that stop you okay I'm going to start coming in with a flower now and I'm going to be using my oh yeah number two filbert I have a zero that I have one that's even smaller than this and I thought this might be that one but so I'm just using a small um, filbert brush because I want to kind of cut out block in the shapes of the petals first and uh, they're rounded so I can take advantage of the round end, but I can also make things a little pointy if they need to be in a few areas that they are with this brush, but you can use any brush that you feel comfortable with. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take some white. I'm gonna start with the first petal. And it scoops down like this. Now, if you guys watched the Tiger Lilies tutorial here on Patreon, it's very similar, except they're not curling up in that Tiger Lily shape, but they do, when they fold, all of, fold over, they go in a scoop like this. Okay, and then we're just gonna kind of wiggle, 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 and then come around. Just paint it in. Okay, we'll paint it in. Then, before we get to the center, scoop up some of that beautiful uh, luminous rose. I've got a hint of white still in my brush. Add that right there. And out into a line in the middle and we take more and apply it right in here and what I also want to do is take some of my orange and you'll see when we take these colors together we get a really beautiful vivid sort of a salmon Color. Everybody sees, and there are different, uh, depending on what's in your soil and growing conditions, the colors will come out a little bit different, more warm or more cool in your stargazer lily. So these are just, you know, kind of my uh, uh, visions of the colors in the petals that they look like to me. So you can add more or less if you want. Go ahead and add that little line that goes down the center. And pick up a little bit of white, blend that in with what's in my brush. I'm gonna get as close as I can to the edge of the flower. The edge of the flower is gonna be um, white. And I'll take a scoop of white. Okay, and then we'll come around the edge here. And just crisp up our highlights here. And then really lightly, very softly, catch a little bit of that soft pink. Okay. I don't know why, but that's reminding me of a cat or an owl. <laughs> I always see things within things when I'm painting. Maybe that's part of having an imagination as an artist. I'm not really sure. So now I'm gonna come in from here, right in the middle here, and I'm gonna come out and overlap. Out and then up. 
so sort of oblong, but then it goes round right in here. And this one as well. So we're gonna go out to there. And then we're gonna scoop down again. And then go down. I'm going to take a little bit of that light pink. Work it out on my brush. And just start to overlap. Remember, we're going to leave the very edges of the petal bright white. You can, you know, you can come back and, and re-add it any time. Okay, so I'm going to make a little bit of pink again. So it's pretty much just most of the color in the center, the dark to light. It's a pretty um, ombre. Okay, so I'll take a little bit of my rose at the orange and go right in the middle there and then push now you have a few options of how you want to apply the color if you want to dry your your layers off first you most definitely can um, either way is going to be just fine I like painting wet on wet because I get more of a creamy um, look. Kind of looks like oil paint, and I don't like to paint with oil paint because it takes too long to dry. And I just I'm pretty stubborn. Like acrylic makes me happy, and I don't have any. You know I like using it, so I'm just gonna start adding some more color here because as it dries it's um, drying a little bit darker with that green and black showing through so I'll just add a little bit more color there and then very softly sorry for the noise loud plane flying ahead or above okay and then we've got another one underneath here. So I'm going to start with the dark first this time, just to show you it doesn't really, I'm going to line it up here. So it doesn't really matter. You can start with a dark color first if you want, or the shape of the flower. And more white, make it wider. And we're gonna leave it down here like this because it curves over. And it goes up in an arch like this. And we've got pinky color again, and then we're just going to pull, pull, and pull lower down there. That's why it's really handy to have a filbert brush. And take rose and orange and make this the darkest right in here, or the most saturated. And I'm going to add some more color right in here. More white. 
I'm going to continue to outline these as it dries. Because it's going to keep drying a little bit. I'm going to do just a little line right down here. Just a little line there. You don't have to, but it's just where it's kind of curling and uh, folding over. Okay, well, how are you guys doing so far? I hope you're enjoying this uh, tutorial. I'm going to add some more white here. Got hints of that pink still on my brush, it doesn't matter. Got this one that's gonna come out now, no overlap. It's gonna twist over. So we're gonna have it go right here. And then on a slight angle like this, so a little diagonal. And then we're gonna Gently push and down. So you know what? To make it easier, paint a little rounded triangle like this. Okay, just do this for now. Little rounded triangle. And then we're gonna take some white. And we're gonna go an angle so it's like an egg shape right on an angle like this and work that paint out of my brush I think it's probably a good time for me to rinse my brush out and get any any of those colors and the paint from drying way down in my brush and wrecking it Okay, time for some orange, rose, and white. And we're going to come and arch over like this, make an arch. I'm going to add some white here because the white will help cover up the petal underneath so it won't look uh, see-through. We won't be able to see that. So if you need to do that, then just use a little bit of uh, the white to mix in. Now, we're just going to take our brush with the rose and the orange, or whatever color you're using for your main color, and have it go over the edge here. Okay, so most of the color is going to be there, and then you're going to take the white and let it mix in with a little bit of the pinks. Okay, and a little bit more color. and then catch the edge, twist, and pull it over. Now down in here, I'm going to use just a little bit of a little bit of the ultramarine blue for a shadow. I'm going to add a little triangle inside. So this is a little cool shadow, and then I'm going to add a little bit on this petal here. Wherever you might have some cool shadows, so it's usually where you will see a little bit of gray on your petals where they fold over. Those will be your your cool shadows. Okay, and I'm just going to. Come along here.
and then take my pink orange really add the darkest or the most saturation right there okay I'm going to take more white and I'm going to outline this one you can be a little a little wiggly like this I tend to have uh, those ripples. They look sort of frilly. Okay, so it's time for we have. Uh, two more to paint and I'm going to start with well we started with that one but I think I want to continue down here because this one is going to overlap so I'm going to come right down here And then I'm going to take the white. Scoop over like that. And then bring it out wider right here. So I'm going to take more white. Scumble out that paint that's working up into my brush. Oh, that light pink. Take some more white. And we'll just keep working it out towards the center and then we can come in once we've worked that out with our color colors so we're going to go a little up up and over like that use a little bit of water just to loosen up some of that paint And more white again. Really lightly blend it in. Start catching some of that pink area. Then go ahead and add some more. That's going to be 
the most dominant right in here. Okay, now we can start working on the other ones. I'm going to take my rose, my orange, and it goes up like this. Arches over to right about, right about there. Then I'll take my white. Wiggle, wiggle. Do a line that's slightly on an angle, okay? Some white. Put around. Okay, so it goes like that, like half a heart if you're looking from the side. And bring it over top to the center here. And I'll work that out into the center so it gradually gets darker and darker. And look over top of those colors again. So we're going to start it right over that curve and bring it up. So right where this this line turn or it curves over there, and then up. There we go. And then we're going to have a little bit more saturation right in here. Going by some of the photos, some of the leaves have a little bit more saturation than others as they get closer to the center. I'm going to take a little bit of the blue and the white, and I don't even mind if a little bit of that pink color shows through, that's okay. But I'm just going to add a little shadow right in here. So this is the petal, and the petal is curving over, obviously, right? Gonna add a little bit more inside this one. And then there's just a little bit right in there as well. Let's add a little bit of white right in here. Okay, more white. Gonna bring this up higher. A little bit more and just make this come out a little bit wider here. It's just a little wiggle wiggle. And then we've got a little bit of shadow in here. Okay, so I just push gently in with my blue pinky mixture. right there, and then I'll go back with my white and do a scoop and a scoop like that. And then a very thin outline. Okay, I'm gonna go over this with white. I'm using quite a bit. There's gonna be a nice texture to this once it dries.
really lightly, just blend the two together. Now we can start coming in with the spots pretty soon, but first before my yellow and turquoise dry, I take that yellow turquoise and a bit of white. There we go. In a little point like that. Out this way. And one up here. I'm going to take a little bit of the ultramarine blue here. Make it a bit darker inside. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of pink and just add that there. A little bit of pink, orange. Just outlining. And then we're going to have even one there, so it's kind of hiding in the background, but it's there. So just a gentle little triangle thingy, skinny, right there. A little bit more yellow. I'm going to pick up a little bit of white with my yellow just so that it holds up once it dries otherwise it won't show up and then I'm going to go around the outside here so again white and yellow Okay, so now we can add our little dabs, our spots, and I'm going to use a liner brush for this. This is a zero, but you can use a smaller or bigger one if you want. I'm going to get my brush wet. I'm going to take some blue, orange, and rose. Make sure you have some water there. You just want the spots to be darker than a little bit darker than that main color. I'm just gonna do these little dabs staggered. And then as the paint starts to ease off and I run out of it on my brush, that's where I'm gonna add the lighter ones that go out. So you need a little bit more showy here, and then a little bit lighter and softer. Or it's up to you if you want to add some darker ones.
So I'm just going to go around and do the same thing on all of them. I'm going to just a few little lines like this. Take just a little bit more of my pink and orange in here and make that stand out just a little bit more. And then finally this one. You want to paint your, add your dots, whoops in the direction that the flower's um, going up in. So as it goes out like this, the little dabs are a little diagonal and then they go here. So up and then over. And then these ones down and then up and over. I'm going to add a little bit of light pink right in there, just a little bit more on the pink side, have it just gradually get lighter. Okay, so there we have our little dots. Now we can come out with um, those green things that come out from the center. So I'm going to use yellow, turquoise, and a little bit of white. Let's just take all three colors, not over mix them. And I'll just have a few here. So it's going to go up, over, and down. Scoop like that. Take a little bit more white. You like that? A little bit more white. And brighten up the centers here. Add a little bit of white, that soft yellowy white around here. Okay, and then I'm going to add 
and some orange and maybe some pink in there just to create a shadow. Make those a little bit darker. And then the orange with a little bit of blue as well. You can if you want. Add these little banana things on the end. <laughs> they look like little banana shapes. And then one more right there. Then I'm going to take the blue. Make it darker. I'm going to take some yellow with my rose. And really tap quite a bit on there, but very lightly. It's going to give it that texture of that powder stuff on the end, which is the part that a lot of people are allergic to. I could be wrong, but from what I've been told. See how much I've got on the end of my brush that I'm using. Because um, this one's coming out here, and it's brighter in the background. I need to make this one darker to stand out. So I'll just add a little bit more of the blue, and just gently go over this, tap, tap, tapping. with a clean brush a little bit more of my a little bit of water rose in that rusty color it's very thin I'm just going to add a few skinny lines and I'm just going to place my pinky here this really helps and do three You don't need to have them everywhere. Just pick one or two where they stand out. I'm really, overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I'm just going to add a little bit of turquoise and yellow. With my filbert brush here, I'm going to pick a few areas to add some brighter colors to. It's going to, it's still going to dry a little bit darker than this. this yellowy green because uh, it's really complementary with all the pink. So 
So just, yeah, a little bit here and there. blend it out here with my filbert, a larger filbert. I'm going to pick up a little bit of ultramarine blue along with my yellow. And a little bit of that. Just finish off here with a little bit of white here on the end. The brush I'm using is really big for this. <laughs> okay, one more highlight. I'm going to use my proper size filbert here, the number two. Add some more white in here. And then make sure that this petal is overlapping. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you enjoyed this painting. Suzanne, thank you again for all your amazing support. And take care, everybody. I'll see you all soon in another video. Bye!